Okay, we're going to work through a problem that deals with this formula, distance equals rate times time, and it's one of these problems where there's a boat going up a river and down a river, <clears throat> and so I want to look through and see, it says a boat going upstream on the river averages five miles per hour. Right, so I'm going to underline that since that's an important part. Going downstream, the boat averages seven miles per hour. Find the speed of the current. Right, so we want to know the speed of the current and the speed of the boat in still water. So we can see that there's two different things that we're solving for. And so whenever we're trying to make equations, we should always start off with identifying some of these variables. So um, we might say that we're going to call C the speed of the current, and then B maybe the speed of the boat. All right, and these are both speeds that we're trying to find. Now, at first glance, it looks like maybe there's not enough information here, but let's break down a little bit what it's saying. It's saying five miles per hour. Well, five miles per how many hours? Per one hour, right? So when it's saying miles per hour, it's meaning miles in one hour. And so when we're dealing with this, the, you know, so upstream, right, it's going five miles in one hour. So it's actually giving us two bits of information here. It's giving us our distance and it's also giving us our time, right? So I'm going to just kind of show in here. So this top part, it's giving us our distance and then the bottom part is giving us the time. So let's go ahead and fill those two things in here. So we're dealing with the upstream. And so if I'm trying to figure out what my distance, rate, and time are, like I said, this gives me two parts of that information. So I know it's one hour, so my time is going to be one. And then when I, my distance is going to be five, because you're going five miles in one hour. All right. Similarly, we have something going on with the downstream where the boat averages seven miles per hour. So again, that would be seven miles, right, would be the distance in one hour. All right. And now we have to work on this part where the rate is because maybe you're looking at this going, okay, wait a minute, we don't even have any variables yet. So what are we going to do? Well, you need to keep in mind that speed um, comes, so rate is actually broken down into two different parts. So when it's talking about rate here, we're talking about the speed of the current um, and the speed of the boat. But we've got to be careful in the way that we put this. So um, thinking about it from practical s standpoint, if you were going upstream and your current was faster than your boat was going, then you really wouldn't be going upstream, right? You would be falling back and um, it would you would be um, slowing down to the par point of which you would be going backwards. So we always need our boat speed to come first. So we're going to say our rate is made up of our boat speed plus or minus, and I'll get to this in just a second, plus or minus our current speed, all right, the speed of the current. All right, so if that's what our rate is made up of, all right, then let's go over here and think about this for a second. So with upstream, right, um, we're thinking, okay, if I'm going upstream, I'm going against the current. And so that's actually going to be slowing me down from how fast the boat is, would actually be able to go in still water. So on this one, I would be saying um, B, minus C, because whatever the boat speed is, I'm going to minus off what the current is, and that will give me what the rate is when I'm going upstream. But when I'm going downstream, that water, that current is pushing me faster than the boat is actually 
going according to the boat speed in still water. So this time I'd have the boat speed plus whatever the current is. That current is pushing that boat speed faster. Okay. So now I have my three parts and notice that our equation, right, is distance equals rate times time. So when I set these up as equations, right, I'll have my first equation five equals and it would be one times all of this. I'm going to write it down, remember, with multiplication doesn't matter which one you write first and which one you write second so I'm putting the one in front because we're used to the distributive property with that one in front there and then the other equation would be 7 equals 1 times B plus C All right. now that one that we're distributing through on this one doesn't change anything as far as what's inside my parentheses just by distributing that one. So really I have 5 equals b minus c and 7 equals b plus c. And so here are my two equations. Now I'm going to look at these two and I'm going to use the elimination method to try and solve for my boat speed and my current speed. So on this I can see that if I add the equations together just like they are then I would be able to eliminate the C's which is great I want to get rid of one of those variables and that will leave me with 5 plus 7 is 12 and then 1B plus 1B is 2B and then to get B isolated whoopsie meant to divide by 2 on both sides. So I'll divide by 2 here and divide by 2 here. So I'll have 6 equals B. So really what this is saying, right, is that my boat speed is 6 miles per hour. Okay, and I would be guessing that my current speed should be less than that. So there's one of my answers. And then, just like you've done before, after, when you solve the elimination method, once you find one of your variables, then you can plug that back in to find one of the other ones. So I'm just going to use the equation 7 equals B plus C. And instead of the B, I'm going to go ahead and put a 6 in there, because that's what we said. B is 6. So we can replace it there. And then to get C by itself, I just need to subtract that over. So I get, um, sorry, I meant to say that was 1. So 1 equals C. And so again, this is really saying that the speed of my current is 1 mile per hour. And there we go. Now we've been able to tell the two things that it was asking us to find. Find the speed of the current and the speed of the boat, which we did.